this stage is world one stage three and on this stage we'll be able to get a whistle and there's a secret area in the sky zone where you could get a one up Okay, for uh, this part, you're going to need the raccoon tail, you know, the leaf. Or if you want to collect absolutely every coin, it'll make it easier if you have a power wing. Because right here, this is where you're going to have to fly up. And you're going to have to predict where the one-up's going to go so you can collect it. This is probably one of the more well-known secrets. It's uh, you see that red turtle walking on the white block. You just hold down right here for about five seconds, and then you see you're in the background. So you got to race to the end, and here's a secret door. And this is our first whistle. Coming up, you'll see a white ship right there. I got that simply by beating the first stage as fast as I can and collecting every single coin. Now this is the first castle and if you fly up here you'll find another secret door and this is our second whistle. Once you open up the coin ship. It's a pretty simple stage. I mean, there's no enemies until the end. So, what you're watching right now is just a basic strategy on how to collect every single coin and not miss one. Coming up here, you'll see two windows. If you jump in the space between the window, you'll find another hidden one up. Now we're gonna skip ahead a bit. I already beat stage 5 and 6 and I'll finish stage 4 by collecting every single coin and as you can see I collected all the stars, got 3 stars so I got 5 ups. Collecting all the coins on stage 4 does this. What do you think Reg? I got 2 of them. 2 of them in one spot. Which one am I going to get first, the card or the White House? White House. Oh, I got the card. I'm playing this on the Wii U's virtual console, so in a second here you'll see that there it is, the virtual console menu pops up. Oh, lucky guess. Yeah. What? In that way. This way? Yeah. Okay. No. Oh. <gasps> One up. Can it be? Oh. And instantly to the White House. Pretty sure it's a Peewee. Power wing. Yep. <clears throat> Power. Is that good? Two special spots in one position. Here's a little side note. As you can see, that's a ace of spades. Well, they're all cards, and it's got the N. And not too many people know that Nintendo started off as a card company. Uh, over a hundred years ago. Coming up is another white house and to get this white house you need to collect all the coins on stage two and beat it. Another white house. Woo! That's two. Two white houses. And I believe this one's the anchor. Yep. 
Anchor. We'll jump ahead again for another game with the uh, Nintendo cards. We're going to jump ahead to the Hammer Bros battle, even though it's got boomerangs. And from this guy, he's going to give us a special item. What could it be? None other than a hammer. Now that we got the hammer, we could jump ahead past stage 4 and go to this corner here with that block boulder in the way and then just simply use the hammer on the boulder. We'll skip ahead past that mushroom hut and we'll go to the special hammer bros battle where they spit fireballs and i used the star to make it a lot easier and there it is the third warp whistle now you don't need three warp whistles to beat the game but so what you're gonna see me is just use all three warp whistles at once and it'll take me to the World 8, where I will complete the hardest challenge on Super Mario Bros. 3, which is to beat the game with the frog suit. I did the impossible. I made it to Bowser with the frog suit. So there it is, I beat Bowser's castle with the frog suit, and uh, sorry I skipped most of it, because as you can see I'm recording on my phone, and I didn't have a tripod at the time because somebody at the skate park stole the bracket that holds my phone, <laughs> and as you can see, it's Luigi. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this, and... Just after all the trouble, I'll let you guys view the entire ending. I beat it with the frog. <laughs> now these are not all the secrets throughout Super Mario Brothers 3. There, I skipped a jump from World 2 to World 8, so everything in between was left out. As you can see right there, there's that suit, that costume. And a pretty fun thing after beating the game is they give you three rows of power wings and so basically the rest of the worlds become extremely easy because if you could fly throughout the whole entire stage then yeah no sweat <laughs>